This is a tutorial on how to set up and use the Endermotive Download Manager, or IDM. The IDM program is used for updating Endermotive modules with new firmware, application code, or configuration files. You will need the IDM program, which can be downloaded from the Endermotive website, the Endermotive Download Cable and Power Supply, Kit AIPU, which can be purchased through sales. You will also need access to the module you want to update. The sections of this tutorial include Chapter 1 downloading the IDM program, Chapter 2, manually downloading the driver, and Chapter 3, setting up the IDM. Chapter 1, downloading the IDM program. To access the IDM, go to the Endermotive website at www.endermotive.net. On the top right menu, go to Support, Tech Support, Downloads. Look for Endermotive Download Manager and click on the link, which brings you to the IDM section. Click on the IDM button and save the zip file to your computer. Open the folder you just saved and extract all. Once extracted, open the folder and click on the .exe file. You may get a pop-up warning, click on More Info and Run Anyway. The IDM program will open. The IDM will require using the Endermotive download cable, which communicates from the computer to the module. Plug the cable into a USB port on your computer. Usually, the window will automatically download the driver. If that doesn't happen, you will need to manually download. Chapter 2. Manually Downloading the Driver To manually download the driver, return to the Endermotive website. Under the IDM section, click on the VCP Driver link. This brings you to the Virtual COM Port VCP Driver section. Click on the website link. Scroll down the page to the Windows Desktop Operating System and all the way to the right under Comments, Click on the Setup Executable link. Save the zip file to your computer. Right-click the downloaded zip file and select Extract All. Once extracted, open the folder and click on the file, which should automatically download. If you get a pop-up warning, click Yes to allow the program to be installed. Follow the wizard instructions to set up. Once finished, close out of the folder. Chapter 3. Setting up the IDM. Return to the IDM program and click Refresh. Select the appropriate COM port. It's usually the highest number port available and will only display when the cable is connected to the computer. In this example, it's COM4. Once you have your COM port selected, you can plug the other end of the download cable into the module, which is the RJ45 port, and looks like a phone jack. At this point, do not power up the module yet. Chapter 4. Programming the module. Now we are ready to program the module. Select the file you want to load into the module. If you're loading an application file, you'll get a pop-up warning. Just hit OK. The file name should show on the screen. Click on the Load button. When you see waiting on the bottom right, you can apply power to the module, either through the vehicle or a 12-volt outlet that you can plug into the wall, provided with the download cable. Once powered up, it will load the application and display a progress bar you'll get a pop-up that reads, file loaded successfully. You can now unplug the cable and power from the module. If you're programming multiple modules, plug the cable into the next module, click on load, then plug the power into the module. You should see the progress bar displayed. You can repeat this process over and over. For tech support or more information, contact Endermotive at 800-969. 6080 or visit our website at www.endermotive.net. Thanks for watching.